all jacked at 12 here yet again with a tutorial for you guys on how to flash your 6950 to 6970. Basically, you're turning your 6950 into a 6970. But in theory, it's basically already a 6970, except uh, the BIOS locks some uh, shaders down and also lowers the clocks. So basically what I'll be showing you, showing you guys how to do today is how to fix that so we actually get our 6950 to be a 6970. Now this doesn't work for all cards, I'll have you know, um, but if you do get lucky and you do have a 6970 chip, a GPU chip in your 6950, then you'll basically be able to do this. So what I'm going to do right now is... Um, basically show you guys how to uh, get your 6950 to a 6970. So what you're going to do, you're going to download this file. Uh, it's basically going to be in zip uh, orientation and you're going to unzip it to this. Now download links are in the description for you guys. Uh, all download links. So if I say download, uh, just look in the description. You'll find it there. And so yeah. After you've downloaded this file, the first thing you want to do is, of course, open it. And this right here, the one that's highlighted, is not going to be there. I added that. Um, but, um, so you're going to have these one folder, two of actual flashing utility, which will be done in command prompt, and GPU-Z. Now, basically, the easy way, which uh, works for some cards, but not all, is just going to be to double click, or I guess not double click, you're going to come over here where it says flash to 6970. You're going to right click it. Uh, so you're going to right click, run as administrator, and basically you're just going to follow what it says, and basically it should flash to uh, 6970. It'll ask you to restart, and you'll restart. And you'll come back to this, and you'll run the newest version of GPU-Z, which I will do right now, just because I can. And basically, if the flashing did work successfully, you will see we have more shaders, uh, 1,536 to be exact. And you'll also see your clocks are higher, 880 and the 1,375 megahertz to be exact. And if you see that, and you're not seeing any artifacts, you're probably good. You're uh, uh, pretty much done. Uh, but for you guys, it's best to uh, check first. So you're going to download Burmark. And basically, I'm going to run that right now. Basically, what this will do is it will stress your GPU. Um, I, you guys really should use Burmark. Please don't use ATI tool because I'll show you in a second here. What happens if we use AATI tool? So here we are using ATI tool. And basically we're going to scan for artifacts. See all that? Artifacting? Yeah, that even happens on the actual 6970s. The actual production 6970s do the same thing. And it's basically just a problem with ATI tool not supporting the card. So as you can see it does say no errors. But y y you can't tell because all this yellow artifacting crap. But yeah, uh, don't use ATI tool. So basically, if we use Furmark, we're going to stress it. And basically, you have a big furry donut. Big furry spinning donut. And looks like a volcano. And basically, you're just going to run this. So I would say run this. Um, I ran it for maybe like 10 minutes. But you'll notice uh, those yellow dots or something. It'll those are artifacts, or you'll see flashing. Basically, um, things that don't look normal to you are going to be basically considered artifacts. And if you find any artifacts, uh, it's most uh, likely that your card isn't stable. Meaning, uh, I would suggest you flash back to 6950 per, to prevent damage to your card. Now, 
basically, like I said, artifacts not stable. So basically, to flash back to your 6950, this is included with your uh, package here of these four files. These four are included. Move it on a little bit more. Yep. You're basically just going to right click on flashback, run it as run as administrator, and follow those instructions. Restart. Check GPUZ again and make sure you're back to 6950 spec. And if all goes well, you're fine. You're basically your 6970 is or your 6970 uh, uh, fake 6970, I guess, is back to 6950. Now there are instructions to do pretty much what I just taught you guys how to do on, uh, uh, I believe it's Tech Power Up, a GPU guy, massive, massive guru. He's amazing. Uh, he basically made this, and credit goes out to him. I would really suggest you guys check him out because he's amazing, like I said. Um, but yeah, anyway, um, if you had problems with doing it this way, with the Flash 26970, um, another thing you can do is open this, see where it says WinFlash. We can open this and run this right here, it says ATI WinFlash. Run that, which I'll run right now. Oh, forgot. Run it as minis run as administrator. So run as minis ah, I can't say that. But we're gonna run it as administrator. Right, this will come up. And basically what we'll do is we'll click load image, which you will download. Uh, link in this in the description, like I said. Um you're going to download the sixty nine seventy sapphire BIOS for the Sapphire card which I basically already have. I have a bunch of different BIOS for 6970s in here. You're basically going to open this up. So we'll open. And basically you can see it's loaded in there and we're going to click program. Now don't touch anything. Uh, just leave it alone for a while. It won't take too long, but uh, leave it alone. And after that you're going to restart and you're going to basically do what I told you to do the first time. And if that doesn't work, it's pretty much most likely it's not going to, you know, you're not going to uh, actually have a 6950 that's a real 6970. So, yeah, basically that was kind of a mumbo-jumbo way to do it. Um, kind of all over the place, but that's just me for you. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching, and yeah, all jacks of 12, out.